What's up everyone, it's your boy Norn Rad 89 here bringing you another video and today it's going to be a rad movie review as we talk about Puppet Master 3, Toulon's Revenge and this is a lot, a lot of people's fan favorite. This is a pretty fan favorite one. A big reason is because Six Shooter appears in this one. He's just a fantastic entry into the puppet like crew. He's a fantastic member. But also this is a prequel film to the previous two films and it actually works very well and is really an awesome revenge story. So today we're going to talk about my positives, negatives, and the rating on this film and all that kind of stuff. So let's get into this. Roll it. Also, excuse my face, my look, like we, we've had over the last like week and a half, like we've had like crazy windstorm days and like the spring weather is pretty much in full bloom and effect over here in New Mexico. And my eyes feel like shit. Like I look like I'm high all the freaking time. Like that's how like bad and how itchy and how messed up my eyes feel because of this freaking windstorms and all this crap. But like I said, excuse my look, but let's get on to the meat let's get on to the reason why you're all here for this video and that's like i said to talk about puppet master 3 yes we are on to the third installment in the puppet master franchise and this is toulon's revenge and yes this is a prequel story as we follow andre toulon and his wife elsa and they're running their puppet show and all that kind of stuff at this point in time toulon already has his secret to how the puppets work and he's able to do them and stuff like that but what happens is the Gestapo, the Nazis, they end up finding out about it and then they go to kind of like, you know, talk to him to get him to shut down the puppet show. They want him to just shut it down and everything and they actually end up murdering his wife and what ensues next is, like I said, Toulon's revenge. He takes his puppets and they go on a killing spree and go slaughtering all the officers and the Gestapo and our um, villain Major Krauss. He plays our main villain. So yes, it's an awesome revenge story. So let's today get right into the positives right away is that this is a great prequel. Like, you know, often in times when you think of prequels, they don't always work because you have a prequel and sometimes they bring up questions that you didn't want answers to or they have questions that they're trying to answer that none of us had as fans. But what this one does is it just humanizes and makes Andre Toulon and the puppets more hu humans, you know what I mean? You understand their side and it's a little backstory on, you know, stuff that we kind of knew about but we didn't, but it, like I said, goes into more detail on why, you know, the Nazis are after him, why Andre Toulon fled France and stuff like that. So yes, this one does bring up some awesome answers to questions that we didn't even know we needed or wanted. Another great addition to this film is Guy Rolf, who plays Andre Toulon and he's probably my favorite one of my favorite performances of Andre Toulon ever we've had a bunch of actors and different actors throughout this franchise you're going to see that take on that role and this is one of the best ones because you know you can understand him and you can sympathize with his character because he you know sees his wife murdered and then these guys want to take him for his puppets you know and just use him for his you know serum and everything and yeah and of course like when he goes on his revenge spree it's totally justified and you understand where he's coming from so that's why you know it does such a fantastic job this film as like I said humanizing Andre Toulon's character and making us as fans understand him even more another great thing is Richard Lynch as Major Krauss who is probably one of the most iconic villains in the Puppet Master franchise and is like I said a real asshole because he murders Andre's wife you know what I mean and they, what ensues throughout the film like yeah he just there's multiple scenes throughout this film even with his own people that you know put on the example that he's just a real asshole and he's not a person to be liked and when you end up getting to that third act and you get the revenge he has a really awesome death scene that's like you know when you watch some movies and like people are going out for revenge and then the death scene happens for the main villain and it's not always so sweet it's you want it a little bit more and you're like oh well that guy that person or that chick they deserve so much more awful stuff no this guy gets it and he gets everything he deserves and it's freaking awesome so yeah the third act money shot you know is pretty freaking tight Another thing that I brought up in my previous video is that the puppetry work is the best in this and the previous film. Like, I think it just, they look the best. Like, I love Six Shooter. He's a great, like I said, addition to this little puppet crew right here. 
Leech Woman, Blade, they all look fantastic. Pinhead and seeing them go at it and kill people like, yeah, it's, it's a really great one. And this one, you kind of see the introduction of Pinhead too. He's not in, I mean, not Pinhead, Blade. He's not in it a lot, but you kind of see the creation of him because uh, Blade's actually inspired by Major Krause and Andre Toulon makes him. So yeah, I think that's a fantastic little kind of homage, you know, stick it to you, you know, villain character kind of thing. And yeah, this film really has a lot to offer. And if anybody had this, as their number one favorite Puppet Master film, you're really not going to get a lot of argument from me. And in terms of mixed and negatives, there's really not too much mixed and negatives I have with this film. This is actually a really fantastic film. If I was to say there was a mixed part, is that there's a chunk in the middle act, in the second act, that I would say maybe like five to ten minutes that just it kind of feels like a slog. It's a little bit of, you know, you have to get through it, but it, there's really not that much negative stuff to say about this film yeah puppet master 3 is a banger for sure and in terms of the rating in my book puppet master 3 is going to get a strong 9 out of 10 this is a great film like i said one of my favorite revenge stories and such a fantastic sequel in this franchise like when you when you go puppet master 1 2 and 3 and you're just binging them like it's just such a strong trilogy and you watch it and you're like holy crap like what the fuck have I been missing and then yeah you got to dive into the other ones too this is a franchise that the more you go through it and the more you take the depth of diving into it you just find so much to love about it because the creators and writers they really go for it and like I said the the puppetry work for me puppet master it just hits home it makes my heart feel warm inside and I just love the franchise so like Richard Band's music it's just so iconic and it hits home so there's a lot that I love about this franchise, and like I said, Puppet Master Three is another fantastic entry. And most of the people, I, most of the people I talk to in the horror community that have seen Puppet Master, they this is their favorite one. Like I said, I, like an eight out of ten times, this is going to be the top dog because this is like I said a really freaking strong sequel. But I just I just love Puppet Master Two so much, and that's like the crown jewel to me, like I said, the perfect Puppet Master film, but I highly recommend checking this one out too, and like I said, you can currently check this one out on Tubi and Shudder, that's where it's streaming right now, and also, these are just my thoughts and my opinions on this film, that means I would love to hear from all of you in the comments section, share your thoughts on this awesome third installment to the Puppet Master franchise, but be sure to like and subscribe so you take the journey with me, because now we're going to be getting on to Puppet Master 4, and then 5, which are two great double feature watches like if you were to watch any ones like right away like right together as a double feature you know puppet master four and five go kind of hand in hand almost like halloween one halloween two like those original two so yes i'm excited to talk about those ones too but most importantly i want you all to have a safe and happy day peace out